better redo this video. Sorry, you can't see the previous one I made because I started going off on tangents and I'll clue you in in a little bit. I was discussing in my previous talk, I'm going to delete it afterwards, and then I went far afield, is that uh, in somewhere in the 1600s to the early 1800s, it was known as the age of reason. You know, because people were using critical thinking, they were developing ideas, they were somewhat civilized. People are only almost civilized, or somewhat civilized. It's always been that way. But the 2020s, <laughs> I couldn't call them the age of reason. You can go to YouTube, you're on YouTube, and you can see example after example where people just aren't using critical thinking. <laughs> Feelings matter more than facts. You know, they, they come in with extreme tunnel vision and make absolutely no sense. I'll let you come up with your own example. Anyway, I'm going to put this, my tribal name should be John Needs to Make More Arrows. Or he that needs to make more arrows. I had this one that I rehabbed. And I might demonstrate. I might get the epoxy in the in the, what do you call that, acetone, and make that finish for the belly. And again, it's not to harden the belly. It's not to harden the belly whatsoever. You can see I don't have a problem with string follow. I don't need to harden the belly. What I need to do is, if you haven't watched the earlier video on this ball, it was delaminating. It was splitting like pages in a book. And I wound up gluing those layers that were popping up with Gorilla Glue. The two-part epoxy with the acetone would just be to allow it to soak in there and prevent any further delamination in here just to preserve this ball. I also lowered the draw weight. What caused its demise, what caused that belly to fail in the first place was it was just way too high. But I love the paint job. I love the shape of the bow. I like that it's uh, sinew back. And so it was important to me to fix this. Reproduced the pattern, although in different colors wasn't a fan of the yellow so much and the white I didn't feel would show up that well on this this very blonde rawhide and so I went with the black sawtooth pattern this is cool what do you think that is what do you think the pattern running down the center is what does that represent I'll let you come up with that next up put that there grab my arrow One up here, place it on there. I like that, that many people agree that beautiful decorated arrows are are a thing of beauty. They're they're worth doing. They're worth having. There's some you know debate on whether painting bows, but I kind of like this. You know, the whole painted, decorated scene, because it really shows if you're on this end of the arrow, it's like, hey, here I am. <laughs> it's expressing myself. And I took this ball, and actually, with a sponge and white paint, I don't know if you can see it with this camera, but I sponged the back, uneven, kind of splotchy, but kind of sums up this is a good winter ball winter camouflage and then used the dark green and then actually painted in here the triangles and then with the white paint I think it's rather striking I'm not going to use this beautiful arrow in this this demonstration because the arrows just go sailing through my target and stick into that oak tree that's behind them so I don't want to risk breaking that If I duck down, can you see me? Ha <laughs> ha One more. Ha! <laughs> Miss. 
missed that one. Oh, well. That is all. Now I need to redeem myself. One more. There we go. That was just kind of a clumsy, weird shot. But it worked. It worked. Oh, not thrower. That's what I meant. Sinew, then it stops. That's rawhide where that white is. Then the sinew started again. Pretty ball. Pretty ball. Have a good one. Thank you for watching.